Hello and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. Uh, this week we're going to prove a little theorem in abstract algebra, which you've probably heard. And maybe you haven't went and proved it actually. So I think that's good to do. Um, so this is a statement that we're going to prove, and it's if the characteristic of a field is finite, then the characteristic is prime. So if you don't know uh, what a field is, uh, maybe brush up on that. But so, the, but the characteristic is easy enough to explain that um, if we take the uh, multiplicative identity and add that up um, n times, uh, then we get the additive identity. Uh, this n is going to be called our characteristic, and if uh, no such n exists. We call this an uh, infinite characteristic, and we would say that n is equal to zero, which uh, doesn't make too much sense, but no, it's, that's the way it is. So we're going to go. We're go, just going to go into for notation instead of writing n times one, like n one, like one n times. We're going to call this. Uh, the characteristic number n. Um, so when we start, um, we're going to assume that this this field is uh, the characteristic is finite, meaning that this n is the smallest such number you can add up of multiplicative identities to get the additive identity, and that's important that it's the smallest number because that's what what we're going to use to prove that it has to be prime. So um, yeah, we have, uh, and then we're going to assume that uh, assume that we can um, factor this into m and k, and because uh, because fields have the distributive property, we can say this is equal to uh, char characteristic m and k, where. where we have uh, m1s here and k1s here. And of course, we just distribute those to get m times k. And then that's, we've assumed that's equal to m. Uh, so we kind of have two cases that we're going to look at here. Uh, one is that m is equal to 0, uh, in which case uh, it would be larger than n, which would contradict this, this statement that uh, in which case k would be larger than n, which would contradict the statement that n is the smallest uh, such characteristic of our, of our field. Um, or m is not equal to 0, and one property of a field is that every non-zero element has a uh, multiplicative and additive inverse. So we can multiply by the inverse of m and get uh, and show that uh, k is uh, equal to 0. So that would be greater than n as well. So that just that shows that this is a contradiction. So factoring this such that neither of these, these is equal to n uh, which should be, of course, trivial to, to show. So that's a contradiction. So n has to be prime. And that's the proof there. Um, so if you enjoyed this proof, want to learn more about uh, abstract algebra, we have a couple of um, books, Introduction to the Group Rings and Field, and A Term of Commutative Algebra, uh, which you can check out on our store. Stick around for a link to our website, or links to more problems of the week, like this one, and a link to subscribe. Again, thank you for watching, and have a good day.